Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, period. And I'm here with you guys today with a new vlog. <laughs> So uh, I'm back from vacation. <laughs> Two days later, it's October 6th, and I'm getting my life together. So y'all know, I know y'all probably struggle with this too. Like when you come back from a trip, it takes you a while to transition back into your routines, working out, eating right, skincare, whatever routines you have, it takes a while to get back into them. So i'm getting my life together in this vlog this vlog will probably be two weeks worth of footage just because the sunday before this vlog goes up i'll be uploading my la vlog so i have this whole week and then next whole week to vlog so this vlog may be kind of long may not be kind of long i don't know we'll see but before we get started do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so as i mentioned today is wednesday october 6th and i am i don't know how i feel like i still feel kind of tired because the time zone difference did have me it had your girl in the scuffle okay so that's that it's too early for the hood to be acting up but yeah the time zone difference got your girl so i've been feeling like kind of tired which is why i'm starting the vlog two days later i really wanted to start yesterday but i really didn't do anything except for work and sleep so yeah but yeah i'm in love with my braids like i absolutely love the color of these braids it's perfect for the fall season i haven't even been doing anything to my scalp because i'm like i do not want my braids to grow out quickly but the way that my hair be acting it gonna happen so today i'm about to go to the grocery store because i need groceries because i just came back and i don't have no groceries so i'm gonna go to um i think i'm gonna go to target to get groceries and i also placed an order on whole foods yeah i don't know if it's just where i live or all whole foods through amazon but they add on a ten dollar service fee so now when I order my groceries on Whole Foods through Amazon, I got to pay an extra $10. It starts at the end of October. So I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because $10, that's a whole two items on my grocery list. Like, no. So we moving real frugal out here. I don't care. I don't care how much money I have. I don't care how much money I ever have. I'm going to act cheap because... Why am I paying you 10 extra dollars to bring something to me when I already pay my Amazon Prime membership every month? It's just not making sense to me. So I'm going to get ready to go to Target now. I was waiting to see if my Whole Foods order comes before I leave. But yo no sé. It's still saying that he's two stops away. So I think I'm just going to leave and then I'll tell my mom to get it when they come. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get ready. Yeah, my skin, let me tell y'all. <laughs> my skin wanted to act up my whole trip. And then as soon as my skin felt that I was ready to return back to New York, it wanted to act right. So, in this vlog, I'll also be sharing... Um, I think I'm going to do a separate video on it. Yeah, I'm going to do a separate video about how I get my skin together. But, yeah. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't, right? So let me go ahead and get ready. I'm so exhausted, but I know if I don't go today, I ain't going to have nothing for breakfast tomorrow. And I ain't going to have nothing for dinner tonight. So I got to do what I got to do to do what I got to do. <laughs> so I forgot I had a call for work at 3. So I can't go. I have a call at 3. And then I have a call at 3.30. So I won't be able to go to Target until after my calls are done. I look bald. Let me put the little pony to the front. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from Whole Foods. So if you guys are vegan, if you guys are trying to transition like I am, then you guys can see like my recommendations and my reviews. First off, I got two of my favorite cream cheeses. These are the Tafuti cream cheese. This is dairy free, dairy free, and gluten free. So 
I always get two at a time because I go through them so quickly. But they sell these at Whole Foods and they also sell them at Foodway or Fairway depending on what supermarkets you have by you. But they are good. And I got this butter to try. This is the Earth Balance Butter. I believe this is plant-based. It is dairy-free and gluten-free and non-GMO. It says powered by plants. So we're going to see what this is hitting for. Because I tried the Mayoko's butter and I wasn't really a fan. So I need to find some butter substitute. So if you guys have any vegan butters that you guys like to use, let me know because I'm going to hunt for a new one. I got these croissants. They're vegan. They do contain wheat and soy. So if you um, are allergic to those things or don't eat those things, then these won't be for you. But when you go to Whole Foods, you have to make sure that it says vegan. And also, if you look at the ingredients... It's just going to say that it contains, I don't know if you guys can see, that it contains wheat and soy. If it says milk, if it says egg, that is not the vegan option. So, yeah, you just want to make sure that it says contains wheat and soy. Let's see. So, I got those to try. I got this. This is my favorite pizza. My favorite vegan pizza is by Amy's Kitchen. It is their vegan margarita pizza. So, this is plant-based as well. I may or may not make that for lunch. And then I got this to try. So these are holy veggie. These are branch cauliflower wings. And these are vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free. I'm actually going to make these first because I'm feeling to try these. I saw these in Target when we were in LA. And I was going to get us to try it. But I'm like, hmm, it's a lot to make in the Airbnb. We don't have four people. We don't have this. And I'm like, I would end up buying way more things than just this. So I'm like, I'm going to try this when I get home. So I'm actually going to try right now. And then that way, I know if I like it. So if I go to Target here and they have it. Then I'll buy more. So I'm going to go ahead and make this now. I'm going to wipe everything down. That's everything I got from Whole Foods. I'm going to get more when I go to Target. I need to get bread. I need to get milk. I need to get cereal and some other things. So I'm going to wipe everything down. I'm going to try the wings and try the croissants while I'm waiting for the wings. Because your girl's hungry. And I'll let you guys know what I think of both. So yeah. So this is how the cauliflower wings look when I pour them out of the bag. I'm preheating the oven to 425 and I'm gonna just pop them in now because I ain't got time to wait okay I'm just trying to ooh, make this quick fast and in a hurry boom you're not wiping all your groceries and you're real nasty okay you're real nasty I've been doing this since before COVID but now with everything going on make sure you're wiping your groceries down like just wipe them down wipe them down Okay, now let's try one of these croissants as we wait for those wings. So it comes with four. And it was $8.99. Well, no, it's $8. Ooh. It tastes just like a regular croissant. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to go ahead and slap some of my cream cheese on it. And baby, this thing's going to be busting. So if you're vegan... Try these croissants that from Whole Foods. Try them out. Because it tastes just like the regular thing to me. Okay, y'all. So, I just took the wings out. This is how they look. Nice and crispy, crunchy. There was no instruction on how to do what I got to do with the sauce. So, I think I'm just going to put it in the microwave. Okay, so let's do a quick little taste test. I have poured the um, ranch on the plate and just threw it in the microwave because, you know, no plastic in the microwave. But I dip the florets in the ranch. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The sauce gives you a nice zest. It's good. I like it. Cute little snack. I'm gonna go indulge. I'll be back. Yeah, work <laughs> was working today. So I'm just not getting ready to go to Target. It's currently 5.18. So yeah, let's go so I could come back home and do everything I have to do. I still have to do some work when I get home. And I want to start editing another video. So yeah, let me go so I could hurry back home and do what I gotta do. Period. <laughs> Say hi 
hi to the vlog? Hmm? You want to say hi to the vlog? No, honey, I'm but too you, tired. But you look so hi. cute. I want them to see your brain. Oh. Come. I do. The back. You're not in the camera. You have to come over. Just. Oh my God. <laughs> hey guys so it's friday i know i haven't spoke to you guys since like tuesday or wednesday but y'all i just been getting my life together so boom so boom right don't mind my appearance okay i have on my editing t-shirt and in the words of casey your editing t-shirt should have holes in them and they do so when y'all see me with this shirt just know that some fire content is coming, okay? I just finished editing my LA vlog and I'm so happy about that because if you follow me on Instagram, if you guys don't, make sure you guys do at Kinesthetic underscore. I told you guys that my LA vlog, it basically like disappeared from Final Cut and then it ended up coming back. But I noticed what I did wrong. It was my fault. It wasn't Final Cut. It was me. But I was able to find it. So I finished editing that vlog. It's up. It went, well, it's downloading now um it went from three hours of footage to 57 minutes so yes i'm done with that so happy so i'm moving on to the rest of my la content now but this week was a lot i was trying to get back into the swing of things i'm on day two of working out which is a huge thing for me because i've been trying to i'll speak about it here briefly but i'll probably speak about it more and like i should check it ready with me but i've been trying to figure out but i get my mind back into working out because it's one thing to be able to work out but if you're working out and your mind isn't there like it just doesn't feel right and i'm at the point now where my mind has to be in it when it comes to anything like working out helping someone like my mind has to be in it or else to me it just doesn't feel right so i'm gonna speak about it more in a chit chat get ready with me but i'm not going to showcase me working out anymore like i'll probably show you guys some snippets like in my vlogs maybe you guys will see snippets in this vlog but as far as like posting on my stories every time i'm working out i'm not doing that anymore and i'll tell you guys why in that video but um yeah i've been working out for two days now so <laughs> kudos to me that's a big thing um i've been working i had a lot of work to catch up on i've been editing as you guys saw i gave you guys um lots of la content so i've been editing editing and editing and i've been posting on instagram if you guys follow me on instagram y'all probably noticed that i've been giving y'all way more content than usual so i'm trying to keep keep up with it so that i don't fall off again and if i do then i plan on getting back quickly versus taking a whole month off like i did the last time so yeah i've just been getting my life together but here we are so today's friday night it's literally 8 p.m oh it's 9 16 it's almost my bedtime honey yes i have a bedtime on fridays but i'm gonna let this vlog finish download i'm about to go through my skincare routine i'm watching real house of potomac the last episode that i missed while i was in la and i'll probably start squid games tonight depending on how tired i am when i <sighs> I probably won't start Squid Games tonight because I'm already yawning and I have not even looked at my bed yet. So, yes. Tomorrow, I have to run a couple of errands. So, I'll be vlogging tomorrow. And on Sunday, I'm going to Flora Escape in New Jersey with Alex and Zay. So, you guys will see that too. But, now's a fun time, okay? The week is like, mm, 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 But the weekend is busting, okay? So, yes, we're going to do that this weekend. I'm really excited. And I haven't really been ordering anything because, as you guys saw, when I was in L.A., I spent a lot of money. So, and there's nothing that I honestly, like, want right now. So, if I do get things that I show you guys, it'll probably be, like, PR stuff and, like, little things I buy here and there. But for the most part, I'm not buying a bag. I'm not buying a shoe. I have enough for now, so... I'm trying to get my life together because the holidays is coming up. I have coin to spend for Kenmas, my vlog series here on my YouTube channel. I have gifts to purchase. So I'm just pacing myself. And I also have a savings goal to reach by the end of this year. So all of that just tells me I don't need to be buying it. So I do buy something then i probably have a reason why. But whatever. Y'all get the point. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and my skincare routine bam 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 
and yeah so i'll check in with you guys in the morning because i'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up early tomorrow to work out and i have to go pick something up so i'd rather go early but either way why does that plane sound like it's about to land on my roof that plane sounds so close but either way i'm gonna be up early tomorrow so i'll check you guys i'll check in with you guys in the morning good night hey y'all so today's saturday october 9th and i am up busy working and i'm actually about to list a whole bunch of items on my depop shop because something came over me this morning and i'm like i just need to get rid of stuff like by the time vlogmas comes i want my room to be clearer i have too many things i have too many things and i have a problem so i keep buying things and things are just starting to think you know what i'm saying so i need to get rid of things so i'm listing all of these bags on my depop shop for 12 bucks so if you guys are interested check it out these shoes never worn before i'm putting these up for 12 bucks as well cute pink heels but yeah make sure you guys check out my depop shop i'll link it down below so i just got ready i'm gonna head to um cvs to pick up a package that i missed when i was away for some reason they tried to attempt it and needed a signature and instead of them leaving it at the nearest ups to my house they leave it at a friggin' ups pickup location near cross county which is close to me but not as close to me as other drop off pickup spots whatever but here we are i have until monday to pick it up so i'm going today so let me show you guys my outfit real quick it's nothing special i just put something on so here's my outfit i'm wearing this mustard color hoodie that i got from zara i think last year or the year before this is a men's hoodie so i love the color i felt like it was very fall appropriate and it's a little bit chilly outside today so i was like let me go ahead and bring her out i'm wearing these green adidas pants that i got thrifting if you guys watched um i think it was my last weekly vlog like before my la content i got these pants these are like 15 bucks and then i'm wearing my easy 500s wave runners so oh and i'm carrying my i haven't carried her in a while my black top part bag so my outfit of the day why is my camera not focusing get a little dusty too because i haven't carried her in a while but this is my outfit i'm gonna run to go pick this up i'll probably run to like a stop and shop or something i was gonna go to cross county but it's too late and i know the store is gonna be packed so i'm just gonna go run back home and continue doing what i gotta do period Y'all know why I still can't understand why people, why people wear gloves like during this whole pandemic period and why people wear gloves and why people who wear gloves don't be having a mask on. Like things just don't be adding up, but what do I know? Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, October 10th, and I am about to get ready. So today is Sunday, and I told you guys early in the vlog that today I'm going to Flora Escape with Zayn and Alex. So we actually booked for 2 o'clock, but I'm getting ready early because I need to record a video before we go. So I'm about to do my makeup real quick, and I was like, let me get on camera because I did change some things in my makeup routine. And when I post on Instagram my little selfies, my little thirst traps y'all be like girl your face your face so i want to show y'all real quick what i've been doing differently when i do my makeup so i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna do a time lapse but 
the steps that I change, I'm going to tell you guys about it. So, Also, all the items I use for my makeup will be linked down below. I actually created like a favorites page on Magic Links. So you guys can find all my favorites there. So it's like my favorite makeup. So that's the makeup products that I use right now for like an everyday face. My favorite skincare. So my skincare products that are available for purchase is there so anything i get from my esthetician cynthia won't be there because she only sells products to her clients um my favorite body care products but everything that's my favorites is gonna be in that page so y'all could just click on that page and reference everything from now on versus me sitting there linking out each item that i'm using if that makes sense so that's it next order business my skin has cleared up so much since la if y'all watched my LA vlog, y'all saw my skin went crazy. And I'm actually going to do a video about what I did to clear up my skin. I have a lot of dark spots over here from the breakouts. But I'm going to show you guys what I do and what I use to handle that. But let me go ahead and wet my sponge. And then we're going to get this makeup started. Okay. Before I leave, I also have to um, clear up some memory on my memory card. Because the girls is running real short. But the first thing that I changed is the primer that I use. So previously I was using a Fenty Beauty primers, but now I use this primer. This is from Derma Blend Pro. This is their Insta Jelly Grip Primer. And this primer literally like minimizes my pores. It gives me like a nice tacky base so that everything that goes on top can stick, which allows my makeup to last longer. And I love Derma Blend products because they're formulated for like acne prone skin, which you guys know I have. So if you're looking for a new primer, whether you have acne prone skin or not, check it out it claims to have 24 hour staying power with slip free primer acts as a three in one it can be a well it's a makeup gripping primer an instant moisturizer and a tightening mask definitely feel like the tightening aspect because my skin just feels like like so good but this is the primer i've been using i absolutely love it so that's the first step that i changed in my makeup routine Okay, so foundation is on flawless Lancome 500. Y'all know this is my jam. This Lancome Teens E Doll. If you try it out, it should be at the top of your list for the expected support sale, which we'll speak about in a video real soon. But this is the other thing that I changed my setting powder. So now I use the Derma Blend setting powder. I use the original, which is like the regular translucent. I know they have like colored ones, but I haven't tried those out yet. And the brush that I apply it with is this Morphe M536 brush. This is how it looks. So I no longer apply my powder with a uh, um with my sponge. I use this. So I just take a little bit and I just set the areas that I usually like highlight but I don't put concealer on top of my foundation anymore because I feel like it was giving me too much of a cake face boom it's literally like a filter in a can bay <laughs> Just wanna be 
Okay, so I know I look a little white right now, but I'm going to show you guys what I do to like fix that after I do my brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and then I'll show you guys my next step. Do ya? Make sure y'all pick this up, okay? Make sure y'all pick this up. And I think somebody was telling me that it's cheaper than other set, other, other, other setting powders. Y'all know me when I buy things, I'm be paying attention to how much it is. But yeah, definitely check that out. So let me go ahead and get these brows to my Okay, house. so brows are one. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? So now. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation in the shade 410. Ooh. This used to be my like skin color, but your girl, she got a tan. So I use this e.l.f. I use this e.l.f. electric move brush. I got this in a PR package and I just pack this powder on top of where I put that Derma Blend powder just to add some color back to my face i am eventually going to get a color derma blend powder but i just wanted to see how it performed first so i'm just putting the fenty beauty on half of my face so you guys can see the difference okay so this side of my face has a fenty beauty powder and this side doesn't so y'all can see that this side is more warm it's more of like my skin tone and this is like a little ashy we don't like that so that's why I like to go in with the Fenty Beauty powder after. You could go over with like, I know people like the Sephora Micro Smooth powder. I still haven't tried that. So comment down below and let me know what y'all feel about that. Because if the girls need to get it, then the girls will get it during the Sephora sale. Period. So this is what I like to do. And this just gives me like that. It's like the icing on the cake. And my pores are invisible. Like pores who? Pores where? Because we don't know her. We don't acknowledge her. Period. And then when I contour slash bronze, I go in with the lighter hand now. Because when I went in with like a heavier hand, I would just have too much to clean up. And make sure you bronze slash contour your nose. Because one thing I hate to see is a... um. One thing I hate to see is an invisible nose. Make sure that you add dimension to your nose with your contour with your bronzer period dimension to highlight i'm using my anastasia glow kits usual and i'm using this elf fluffy eye blender but it's just like a fluffy brush i use that for my highlight now eyeshadow dose of color y'all know the deal the frankation palette and i'm using this morphe m518 brush it's just like a fluffy eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna sweep some of chiro is that the shade yeah chiro on my eyelid so the next item i change in my routine is my setting spray so this is the setting spray i've been using the Derm derma blend lock and last water resistant setting spray and this just gives me like a nice mist it's not like too heavy it doesn't spray like too direct if that makes sense so i like to shake it up and then <laughs> and i feel like the setting spray doesn't take away like the mattifying look of my makeup so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let that dry Okay, so setting spray is dried. And as you guys can see, my face still looks mattified. It doesn't look like dewy or anything after I did that setting spray. So, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing to my makeup. Long story short, I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara now. I've been using the Coast. Why am I speaking like this? I've been using the Coast's mascara because y'all know my eyelash struggle if y'all been keeping up with me. And then I use my Benefit Roller Lash on the bottom because the wand of the Coast's is like too... It's like too chunky for my bottom lash. So I like to use a roller lash on my bottom lash. Yeah, so I'm going to use this on the top. This eye mascara, this eye no mascara. So y'all can see the difference or whatever. Okay, lashes are done. I made a little F up right here, so I'm trying to fix it. I'm putting on my cork lip liner. 
Okay, so I think we're gonna try something different today. I was looking for my creme brulee, and every time I buy NYX butter glosses, I always lose them. Either I use them once, like I did the last time, or I lose them before I even get to use them. But I'm using my Bite Beauty. What is this? The Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Tamarind. So, let's see. Oh, she's pretty. And I'm going to top it off with this Morphe Freebird Lip Gloss. Yeah, I know how I feel about these. At this point, I'm declaring myself a werewolf. Because I literally just waxed my armpits the other day. And... <laughs> but... Makeup is done. I look good. I still don't know what earrings I'm going to put on. I don't know what top I'm going to put on. But I'm going to go ahead and record this video so that I can get ready and go. So, I'll be back after I record the video because I'm going to show you guys the outfits that I picked out. I think I'm going to bring two. Well, I have two outfits right now in mine. I just have to pull them out of my closet. And if I can find a third one, I'll bring it. If not, then I'll just have two outfits. But yeah. So, I just finished recording my video. And I don't know why my teeth look the fuck good but my nipple was itching me the whole time and i'm like and it's because i tried on this sweater and for some reason i wanted to try on with my boobies out and that material just itches your skin so bad i don't know what i was thinking but i'm about to um like pack up my stuff now my outfits for floral escape because the time is going super fast this morning i woke up i um showered I had a tea. I put my laundry away. Let me show y'all my room. Hold on. Let's get into it. Let me show y'all my bed. Because this is probably the clearest you guys have seen my bed in a while. So this is one of my outfits. So that don't count. But this is all the clothes. That? Where am I? Here? This is all the clothes I have to put away. Which is not a lot compared to how you guys have seen my bed in the last couple of vlogs. So give me my flowers in the comments. Because your girl's getting her life together. Okay? Um. So yeah. Let me pick up my outfits. I already know. So this is one of them. Let me just show y'all now. It's these boots that I got from ASOS. These are River Island brand. But I just felt like they were so on brand for like the floral theme. So these. And then I'm wearing this like sage green fluffy sweater. Look at the material. This is what I was saying. Y'all know this material is itchy as fuck. And I wanted to put it on my bare nipple. Like girl what? So this is one outfit. And I'm going to put like a white tank top and some biker shorts under because the boots come up past my knee and the sweater comes down past my butt so i feel like i don't really need like pants type thing like i'm trying to give cute but i'm also trying to give it a little sexy okay so this is my first outfit and my second outfit you guys saw in my la vlog it's the cream ghani hoodie with the levi shorts my Bottega boots and my Average Citizen bag because I ain't get no pictures in that. So any outfit that I didn't get pictures in, I never really wore it. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be my first outfit and then I'm going to change into this one. So I need to actually go get it. I'm just going to bring those two. Also, I don't like changing too much because then I just get hot, sweaty, irritated and I'm just like, uh. So... I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and stuff now. What time is it? Oh, it's 12.30. I don't know what time she's going to come pick me up. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get ready. My makeup is already done, so that's the main point. That's the main part. And I need to make sure I pack accessories for this outfit. So, yeah, I'll be back once I'm ready because I'm probably going to take a while. Okay, guys, so it's like a few hours later. And I'm here packing my bag, about to leave. I have to pack my bag. Okay, so this is the bag I'm bringing. It's so noisy. My average citizen bag. So my wallet could fit in here. My keys. Hand sanitizer. Ish. I'll just put it in here. AirPods? No. <laughs> so literally, they could just fit my wallet and my keys. But my wallet is pretty big. I need to get a new car case. <laughs> It closes with this little pin. So you just gotta put that in so that the bag doesn't open. Boom. Put my one thing about this camera, she gonna fall. But I also have my mic on, so it's kinda heavy. Um put my watch on. So many people ask me about this watch. This 
this watch this wash this watch is a Hermes watch and I bought it from fashion file so it's just like a cute little dainty watch I always wanted a nice little watch so I'm gonna go ahead and iron my sweater because she's wrinkled okay so I'm dressed yeah the face is mother freaking beat okay I'm about to I put my braids up in a pony well Kim did it for me <laughs> Thanks, girl. I'm about to pick my fragrance. So what do I want to smell like, babe? I think I'm going to wear my Miss Dior. Miss Dior. She's always a good time. So let's go. Yeah, yeah, I find why I give you what you need me. I know what you like. I feel it for me. Time is up to guess that. I try to need you. But I need some lessons. I need to get. Okay, so we're at the florist game cuisine. Cute. Alex. Cute. And, oh. <laughs> and we're about to take some pictures. It's really nice in here. So, if y'all looking for something to do in Jersey or New York, check it out. I think it's open until the 31st. So, yeah. Say what? <laughs> It's broken, broken, sis. Alex! Hey, yeah, <laughs> don't drink, y'all. Don't drink. <laughs> do it. I don't know why y'all don't want me. Join me out of my body. You don't need no other body. You don't need no other body. Hey guys, so I just got home. Well, I didn't just get home. I've been home for a while now. And I forgot my camera at home after I done charger batteries and everything. But I vlogged on my phone as you guys saw. We got some really cute pictures. We had a great time. And I would definitely recommend to go. I think it closes on October 31st. They have different locations for Floral Escape. Who we went to the one in Jersey. It's in Garden State Mall, but they have one in Queens. But the one in Queens is outdoors, like on a farm. They have one in Miami, if you're watching my videos from the Florida area or Miami area. And they have a couple other locations. You can check their Instagram. I'll put the link down below. But we had fun. We ended up going to Grand Lux to eat, as you guys saw. I got the Impossible Burger, and that burger was well-seasoned. It was well-seasoned. But I don't like when places give me, like, a big burger and a small bun because it's just like, okay, once the bun is done what i'm supposed to do what am i supposed to do so the burger was good though i'm full i'm happy i well i cooked earlier so i would even have to cook tonight because your girl got leftovers okay but yeah i was looking at my hair today and i'm like my hair grows so quick like i just put these braids in on september 30th and today's what october 10th yeah october 10th and my hair is already sprouting up it's been 10 days and braids is not something that you could i mean you could keep them in after they start looking old but to me it's just time to let it go so i don't know how long i'm gonna keep these in because i do have some hair campaigns to do so they're definitely coming out before the end of october but i just love this color so much that i'm sad but hair growing skin glowing period but i'm about to get ready to go to bed because i have work in the morning even though tomorrow is columbus day so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow i did order some new things for my room so we're gonna do some organization tomorrow i'm excited about that so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow 
Hey guys, so it is Monday, October 12th and I'm gonna do like some, I guess you could say organization in my room today. Um, I got this perfume tray from Amazon and I'm just gonna build it up because I wanna replace this tray here. And I don't know, I just wanna clean up this area here. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I can't even really see. But I wanna clean up this area here. So that's what we're gonna do. So I got this tray to help. So I'm gonna go ahead and build it up. It has no instructions, by the way. This item came with no instructions, just vibes. The instructions are actually on the Amazon listing. And just so you guys know, this item was $13.99. I only got the one because I didn't have enough space to put two even though i probably will eventually need to but if you get two it's cheaper than getting two separate ones and if you get the three pack it's cheaper than getting like three separate ones just so you guys know I have majority of my perfumes up but I still need more space and also as you guys can see it's pretty jam-packed so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this up because I don't tend to wear a lot of my jewelry over here since it's just all together so I'm gonna clear this up and a lot of this jewelry also turned so whatever turned whatever I don't wear whatever's old is being thrown away and I want to find a different way to like organize my jewelry that's one two I need to find a different way to organize my rings and stuff which is what's in here that's two and also um what else was I gonna say um this tray in general holds more, like this tiered organization holds more than my perfume tray, I will say that. Because only like half of these fit on my perfume tray, my old one, and then the rest of them were just like up here on this spinny thing that I have. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, so I really like this though. So I hope I could get another one. My goal is to clear this space to get another one to go right here. So, yeah.
hello guys it's tuesday october 12th and it's currently like 3 p.m well 3 16 p.m i have been up and out and about all morning but i just went to target and stop and shop which y'all saw me doing this vlog already so i'm like it doesn't even make sense i show y'all again but i had to just re-up on some things one thing about like being vegan or transitioning is oh that's the sun for me baby okay is that fresh produce goes bad so quickly so i find myself going to the supermarket two maybe even three times a week depending on what i'm making so yeah i had to go to the supermarket real quick oh i forgot i had my window open like what's that noise but i am about to take a nap real quick because my body is just tired and it's my period coming because it's giving very much so tomorrow the way i'm feeling i just um seven days i don't know what it is then I don't know, but I just feel tired, so I'm going to take a nap. And when I get up from my nap, the reason I'm taking a nap, I don't have any energy, and then I want to get things done, so I'm like, I definitely need a nap. Because my next project is this corner right here with my shoes and bags and stuff. I want to start organizing that today. Looking at it alone is giving me a headache, but it has to get done because... I told myself that before Vlogmas, I want to have my room organized and together. So I did order another perfume rack and that's what's becoming tomorrow. So we'll work on that again tomorrow. But today when I get it from my nap, we're going to start on the shoe corner. So I'm going to go ahead and take my nap. And yeah, I'll probably nap for like an hour and a half and then get up. So let me go so that we could go ahead and get started. Mm hmm hey guys it's wednesday october 13th i think but i fell asleep yesterday so that's why my corner looks the same as it did yesterday because i fell asleep i woke up i had to edit today's video which was an la travel guide and we're here today so i'm gonna work on that later hopefully i can get to it because I kind of have my agenda full today and I'm starting things later than I thought I would. Like I wanted to start vlogging during like my little lunch break. But I just wanted to like get my work done and then like you know do this after. So that's what we're doing. So yes today is a Wednesday. I feel really good. Today I need to record at least two videos. Either a YouTube video on a reel or two YouTube videos. And I need to work on my perfume organization i'm waiting for that tray to come so when that tray comes i'll work on that and then i'll work on my shoe corner just as i'm in like a cleaning mode and i don't have to like you know pivot too much but i wanted to get on here because i received two packages in the mail today and y'all know i wanted to show y'all what i got so let's go ahead and do a little unboxing or whatever the first package i got is a pr package and as i'm opening this i want to tell you guys like you guys see me like as of late getting a few pr packages and literally almost every pr package that i got has been from me shooting my shots and dms so if you're a content creator if you're an influencer if there's brands you want to try brands you like and you want to connect with pull up to their dms like do not be afraid to shoot your shot closed mouths do not get fed i told you guys a lot about this in my influencer chats that i used to do i don't do them anymore because I have multiple reasons which I'm going to speak about in my like life update. So yeah, that's how I've been getting majority of my PR packages. It's either I shot my shot via DM or I already have a connection with these brands and they just send me like quarterly or like seasonal PR packages. So they package this one real good. How am I supposed to open it? Oh, I see it. Hey guys, editing Kendra here super tired but you know gotta get this vlog out on sunday but i just wanted to interrupt real quick because i received a package from way and i'm caribbean i'm caribbean and i don't speak french which is bad because my language of my country is basically like broken french but anyway the name of the brand is way i pronounced it as i think we in the video so yeah just ignore my mispronunciation thank you way for sending me this package i am super grateful i cannot wait to use these products 
and i will definitely show you guys me using these products and tell you guys my thoughts my opinions and all of that but yeah let's get back to the video Whew, a task okay so this is from the brand we that's how you pronounce it and they sent me oh my god Woo, baby so they sent me they asked me if i wanted to either pick the products or them just send me like their favorites and i was like just send me my favorites because i honestly have never tried anything from the brand but my girl suli is always raving about we so i was like let me pull up to your dms and let them send me a little one too you know what i'm saying so the first product that i got which i'm super excited about because at first i was looking on the website and i'm like i don't really know where to start i don't know what to try so i just figured that getting their favorites would be the best way to test the brand out because this is a brand saying like these are our best products these are the products that people buy the most these are the products that people rave about the most so we want you to experience them okay so the first one is a scalp and body scrub and this looks so good like the consistency looks so thick i'm really excited to try this because i'm almost done with the body scrub i'm using right now so let's smell it let's smell it yeah <laughs> I'm so hype about this. So this is the first product that came. And then they sent their detox shampoo. It's for all hair types. It looks so interesting. It's a unique color. So I'm really excited to try this. And I'm actually going to take my braids out soon. My braids should be out by the next vlog. And yeah, I may be surprised because y'all know I be keeping my braids in for a minimum of a month. But I have content to do. And also, um, I just miss my hair. I love these braids, don't get me wrong. But I noticed that I told you guys about this in a previous video. That when my hair is in a style for too long, I just feel like uninspired. So yeah, once my braids start like growing out and it just looks old then i'm gonna take it out so i'm giving myself one more week in these braids and then i'm taking them out the next thing that i got is a body cleanser body cleanser um a super dry shampoo i actually want to try this i'm probably gonna try this while i have my braids in because why not <laughs> and they sent a wave spray. I don't do waves in my hair, so I'm definitely going to put this in an upcoming giveaway. And they sent a leave-in conditioner. Y'all know how I feel about a leave-in, so we're going to see. we we going to see how this leave-in performs. Because one thing about me, I love me a leave-in conditioner. But that's everything that I got from the brand We. Thank you so much for sending this over to me. I cannot wait to try these products out and share my opinions on them with you guys. So... Make sure you guys tune into my future content so y'all can see how I feel about those. And the next package I got, something that I purchased. <laughs> and I know at the beginning of this vlog, I'm like, I'm not going to be buying nothing. I ain't going to be showing y'all nothing I bought. But Sephora had their friends and family still. And I had a friend and a family who spread the love. So I just used it to get 20% off of some items that I wanted. Because they didn't even announce their November sale. And the whole thing they did in September with the whole points activate the sale. I'm like, I don't know what they're going to do in November. But they did confirm their November savings event. Their holiday savings event. It's from November 5th to November 15th. So I'll be doing a video on that real soon. So make sure you guys look out for that. But I just got some stuff from their friends and family sales. So let me show you guys what I got. I honestly don't even remember. Okay, so I did like re-ups of makeup because at this point, I do want to try some new makeup, which I'm going to get soon. But for the most part, I'm just like, I want to stick to what I have. I want to stick to what I know. So I got another Lancome Teens Edo Foundation in the shade 500 Suede W. You guys know this is my all-time favorite foundation. So I went ahead and got another one because I'm literally on my last bottle of it right now. I got another brow pencil. This is the brow pencil I've been using to benefit precisely my brow in the shade 4.5. So I got another one of these. And I got another Laneige lip balm because y'all know me. You cannot have too many Laneige lip balms. And I got 
two fragrances so i got this one as a gift from my mom because i bought this for her and she's already done with hers because the thing with my mom is that she has two fragrances so she's not wearing one she's wearing the other one and she already finished her seed by Giorgio armani i don't know if you guys remember when i told you guys that i got one for her like back in april i think but she's done so i got her another one absolutely love this fragrance c Giorgio armani the red bottle that's the one and i got a fragrance to try so i've been raving on my instagram stories about why it's a libre because the girls need it okay it's been on sale on a couple of websites so i've been sharing the sales as i saw them but ashley my friend ashley wrote me like she got a sample of the ysl mon paris and she said she likes it better than libre so i said let me see what it's hitting for because i probably smelled this fragrance like a while ago but i haven't smelled it recently so i was like let me go ahead and pick it up and if i don't like it i could just return it so this is oh it's a bottle real cute very cute so let's go ahead and smell it real quick Mmm. It definitely has a fruity, it's like a grown fruity fragrance to me. Mmm. Let me see what the notes on this fragrance is. I feel like I like it, but I don't really love it. Like, I don't think that I like it better than Libre. Libre is that girl for me, but maybe I'm biased. But this fragrance is described as a floral fragrance. It's described as a fruity floral scent type. And the key notes is... Datura, flower, patchouli, and red berries. Given very much so fruity. And yeah, so I'm going to wear it for the day. And at the end of the day, I'll tell you guys how I feel about it. Let me really spray it for real so I could really smell it. And at the end of the day, I'll tell you guys how I feel about it. But the bottle, very cute. Going to look real cute on my perfume tray that we're going to fix up later. But yeah, that's everything that I got in the mail. PR package, Sephora package. I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup now so I can record these videos. And I'll check it with you guys once I'm done recording and on to like the organization stage of my day. So, yeah. Some days, things just take way too much of my energy. I look up in the most thing you, you take, but can't so I can so overcomplicate. People tell me to dedicate. Loving the shit out you, fucking the shit out you. I won't have a kid without you. What your friends saying? <laughs> so I recorded one video, which I'm happy about, and the other two videos I had in mind to record today. Low key, I need the sun, or it makes sense with the sun because one of them is my. The video you guys hopefully see Friday, which is me styling my Jeffrey Campbell boots in three different ways. And for the thumbnail, I wanted to take pictures outside, but it's so gloomy outside that I'm like, it's not going to make sense to do it today. So I think I'm just going to do that tomorrow. And then the other video was a reel with sunglasses. And I just feel like I need the sun for that. Like I shouldn't be using my like studio lights for that. So yeah i think i'm done with videos for the day i don't want to force it either i check my amazon app because i'm like let me see where my perfume stands are and it said it ain't coming until tomorrow or friday but today i still want to um work on my shoe corner situation so I'm about to get started on that, but I have pulled out some clothes in my closet that I want to list on my Depop. But you guys, my makeup came out so freaking good. Don't mind my baby hairs. They're so unruly. And I did the same thing to my face as I did earlier in the vlog. How I showed you guys like what I've been doing different. So, yeah. Same old, same old. And I don't know if I told you guys on here, but all I've been doing to my scalp since I've had these braids in 
is moisturizing it with my Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk. This, first of all, oh, this one is done. That's why I wasn't spraying the other day. I'm thinking that the spray thing is broken. Baby, it's done. So this is a big boy, 13.5 fluid ounce, but it's okay. Because I have another one. I just got this one in the mail. This is the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk 8.5 fluid ounce. So this is like the medium boy. They also have a travel size one. So if you've never tried this before and you want to try it from Sephora, then you could go ahead and get you the travel size one. But just for size and comparison, this is the size difference. But this one is garbage. But all I've been doing is taking my 25 Miracle Milk and just... Frame my scalp and by the way the lip gloss that i was putting on is this it's the nyx butter gloss in creme brulee can y'all see nyx butter gloss creme brulee this has been my girl i need to pick up madeline and let me know what other butter glosses i should pick up the girls are saying creme brulee which i have praline which i have madeline which is on my list um I think somebody said like angel cake, but let me know which butter glosses you guys like because when I tell y'all I'm finna be butter gloss queen, I'm finna be butter gloss queen. Okay, baby. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this is my current project. You guys know this is all my sneakers, all of my shoes, bags, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So my vision is to clear like here these bags and the stuff I have on the floor. And push like this stack of sneakers to this corner here so that I can actually like see what's on my shelves. And also I'm going to see like depending on how many sneakers I keep from these racks. I'm going to try to consolidate like both of these shoe racks into one. So we're going to see about that so that I don't need to have this here. And I can possibly put my laundry bin in this corner. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm real hopeful about this. But first thing i want to do is to just like clear everything out see what i'm keeping see what i'm not and then go from there so i'm gonna put y'all up so y'all can see but let's get to work <laughs> Okay, so also this is the top of my closet. I just like took everything down to assess what I'm keeping versus what I'm not. And I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can zoom in. But one of my like racks is falling off. So that's why my shelves are crooked. So I actually have this guy who's going to come fix this for me. So he's going to basically have to take all of the shelving down. Not all of it, just these two shelves. And basically like make sure that I don't know if you guys can see how crooked it is. But this side is like weighing down. So he's going to fix that for me, which is another reason why I want to clear this corner. So he can actually get up in here to do his thing. Also, I tell y'all all the time about Nordstrom's return policy. I wore these shoes the other day and I'm tired of them. So they're going to go right back to Nordstrom. I got my receipt right here and everything. They're going right back. Okay, so to give you guys a closer look, I went ahead and moved that whole tower of sneakers that was here and put it over here. I still need to assess like what needs to be in boxes versus what doesn't need to. But like my Jordan ones, they have to stay in boxes. And anything that's like white, 
or would change i keep those in boxes so we'll see when these sustain boxes or whatever but now i'm about to go through in here and see what i'm keeping and what i'm not and like consolidate because i have like a whole bunch of blank spaces and um i don't like that so let's go ahead and do that now <laughs> Okay guys, so it's a little dark in here now, but I basically consolidated like all my shoes onto this one rack. And then this rack I'm gonna break down. So I think what I'm gonna do is move my boxes to this wall so I can hang these bags here. Cause I didn't think about <clears throat> not having this to hang these on anymore. And then break this rack down and maybe my laundry basket could still fit. I don't know, but we're gonna see cause I also wanna go through these shoe boxes. And the ones I have on the other side, but yeah. So, this is where we are right now. I need to get that thing fixed that I showed you guys before. So yeah, I'm about to go to sleep now. Well, I need to like clear the stuff on my bed and then I'm going to sleep. So, see you tomorrow. Hey guys. Hey guys. It's Thursday, October 14th. Hey, it's Friday. Junior Friday. Junior and I just got a package. Y'all should know what it is based on my location in my room. My other perfume choice, I'm about to build it to right now. Before I get into my little B-roll and stuff, this perfume that I showed y'all yesterday, this YSL Mompari. Let me show y'all. This trash. I don't like it. But I was talking to my friend Nala in my DM. And I guess we came to the conclusion that i enjoy strong scents because this scent I, I still don't like what it smells like it just smells like mouthwash to me like kim said it smells like all day toilet like a toilet and i agree it just smells like very bathroomy and i don't like that i don't want to smell like a bathroom i want to smell like a bad bitch okay i want to smell like a bad bitch because that's what i am i'm a bad bitch <laughs> it's packaged up nicely even with the plastic to go right back to sephora so that's going back but let me go ahead and build this up and figure out what's going on up here because as y'all can see it's a hot mess and i'm watching youtube i'm watching Aliyah's face new vlog since you guys saw me build the other one i guess i'll talk through it since i had like that experience building the first one so what comes in the package is this which is basically the tiered stand it comes with this which is like a little cloth to wipe the acrylic sands as well as the screws that you're gonna need and it comes with the two legs and this which is like the base of the stand so this is the stand so the side that has like these two ridges hopefully you guys can see the side that has these two ridges is basically the bottom so what's basically going to happen at the end is that this is going to stand like this at the bottom. So your legs basically have to come down this way to support the stand. So make sure you hold it like this with the two ridges at the bottom so that you know which direction the legs have to go in. Because if not, your legs are going to be at the top and we don't want that. We don't want that in this situation. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to put the leg underneath and align it with the hole and screw them joints in. I'll leave y'all right here. I'm about to play my video and organize this. So y'all can just watch me work. So here is an update on my perfume area. I love it so much. Hold on, let me let me look at her from a distance. Oh yeah, baby. It just looks so like Clara. Let me take you guys off so y'all can see. 
it just looks so much cleaner and clearer up here like oh my god i'm uh, i'm obsessed <laughs> So here's my fragrances. I have my little flamingo corner here. One of them fell, so I have to pick her up. I got these as souvenirs from like trips that I went on in Asia. And then I have my jewelry organizer. I don't know how I feel about this being in front of my jewelry organizer. Because every time I have to take earrings out, I'm probably going to have to move it, which is annoying. So I'm going to see. And then up here, I have my... Sorry for the shakiness. Up here, I have my necklaces and stuff. I just put this organizer on top of the drawer set. I had to take down all my body stuff and all my rings. So, I'm about to see how I'm going to organize these things. So, yeah. Let me get to work. Yeah, I love it so much. Oh my god. Comment and let me know what you guys think. So, I basically combined the two stands. You can't really see the... um separation from a distance you gotta look from afar okay if you this close and then you too close back up for my babies but yeah from a distance it just looks like one so eventually i feel like i'm gonna need a third one but for now i'm gonna hold it down this should be able to hold my fragrances for the next couple of months so let's see but i'm in love with this like it's so simple i'm in love i just don't feel like sitting in my office it's just like not creating the vibe for me that's why i was trying to go to the um cafe this morning but that was just a failure because like i said i don't have my debit card right now yeah i don't know who told me that it would be a good idea to clean my room i like, organize things i'm happy i'm doing this don't get me wrong but baby why did not i ever realize that i have so much stuff like i still have the box on my vlogging camera what do i need the box for i'm pretty sure my warranty is over so god forbid if anything happens this box is not helping me i have my um my box on my macbook my apple pencil my this my dad and it's just like girl what are you keeping the box for you don't store the item in the box so get rid of the box so that's what i am currently working on because i have this corner here where all my boxes are and if we're being honest, it's packed. So anything that I don't need the box for, it's going. Um, And then I just be like, do I keep the box or do I let it go? But honestly, what do we keep the box for? What do we keep the box for? Viewing pleasure? Question mark. I don't know what we keep the box for. But I keep the box. I'm going to keep the box from my iPad, my new iPhone and let me my apple pencil i don't need the box for because i got this from target let me see if there's anything of value in here no what else i got over here oh this is my stylus pen not this little cheap amazon stylus pen that i kept the box for <laughs> i can't take myself seriously i cannot i cannot let me see what's in here I can't believe I kept the box with it. Good thing I'm doing this because I would have never knew I had that. So I have these containers under my bed. And when I tell you I have every box from my iPhones, every box. But in one box, look at what I found. Ah, cute. The Gates to Heaven, a new pair of headphones. And I like these better than AirPods because they're louder than AirPods. So yeah, I'm hype about this. Well, all of these boxes, baby. What is iPhone boxes? Trash, trash, trash. Hey, I found a whole nother pair. Look, I got two new pairs of headphones. All right, so this is how y'all gonna know I don't throw anything away. Why did I just find my Zoom? I don't know if you guys remember what the frick a Zoom is. My Zoom, my freaking crown from when I did Miss Black and Gold in college. I have so much in here. Like this is this is ridiculous. Hey guys, it's Friday, October fifteenth. It's pay day, <laughs> and I just wanted to come on here real quick to end the vlog off because I know that it's long and I have so much more to do this weekend. But I'm just gonna put it in next week's vlog. So thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything mentioned in today's vlog will be linked down below where I went what i wore throughout this vlog what i ate throughout this vlog links will be down below so make sure you guys check the description box and i do want to do a giveaway in this vlog so the giveaway prize will be a mystery prize 
of items it'll be like hair care skin care makeup just like a mystery box to just show you guys my appreciation for your continuous support here on my youtube platform so in order to enter this giveaway you one have to be subscribed to my youtube channel two have to be following me on instagram at kinesthetic underscore if you don't have an instagram account please note so in your submission of you know screenshots three you have to sign up for my newsletter on my website so just go to my website www.kinesthetic.net scroll down to the bottom of the page and just enter your name and your email address and that's that point so that's number three number four you have to give this video a big thumbs up and number five drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments opinions anything related to this video leave it down below and also leave a pink heart emoji there's multiple pink heart emojis you can leave whichever one but leave a pink heart emoji and also leave your email or your instagram handle so that i can contact you if you are the winner and that's what you guys gotta do but i got some lista i got some fenny beauty i got some sol de janeiro so make sure you guys enter this giveaway because the prize i'm telling y'all that it's gonna be lit so thank you guys so much for watching until the end i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below i have way more vlogs coming for you guys i have a lot of things coming for you guys so make sure you guys subscribe turn on your bell for post notifications and until my next video i'll see you guys later